It turns out that if you wish you were just a little bit taller and you've got the money, you can actually make it happen. Software engineers from big tech firms like Google, Amazon, Microsoft, and Meta are paying at least $75,000 to get three inches taller, according to an actual leg lengthening surgeon. Within Silicon Valley, plastic surgery has become you know, a way for male tech workers to, quote, reach their physical goals. I always thought that physical goals were reached like in the kitchen and maybe the gym. I don't know. Apparently, you can just do it at a doctor's office now. But anyway, you can see a shot here of uh, a little bit of how it works, the demonstration of, it's hard to see, but in that clear leg, uh, they put the, well, first of all, they break the patient's femurs. So going in, you have to pay a lot of money and they literally break your legs. Uh, so they break your thigh bones. They put metal nails into them that can be adjusted. And the nails are extended a tiny bit every day for three months with a magnetic remote control. So your legs are broken and then they're kind of broken a little bit more every single day for months until finally at the end of it, your legs are longer. It can cost between seventy and one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, depending on whether you want to grow three, four, five, or even six inches. David, what the hell? I'm like horrified. I literally thought I was going to throw up in that garbage can that I pulled over next to my chair. Um, that just sounds <laughs> excruciating. And uh, you know what sort of person? Like I, we all have the things that we're insecure about. If somebody is so insecure about their height. Um, that they would spend that kind of money to have their legs broken and nails magnetically pulled apart. I think maybe first invest, I don't know, twenty or thirty thousand dollars in some psychotherapy or a psychiatrist and try to really get at the root <laughs> issue of what's going on here because lengthening your legs is not going to fix your problem. No, I think you're probably going to end up a slightly taller person with a whole bunch of other insecurities. I think that's probably how it's going to work out. Oh, by the way, are, will you be shocked to find out that there are actual consequences to this? Side effects of lengthening your leg bones by six inches. So, uh, and this is according to GQ, your proportions can look a little weird, especially when you're naked, because your whole height isn't being lengthened, just the legs part of it. Anyway, the recovery can be long and taxing. Uh, the bones in this one individual's legs had not yet healed, and a small section of his right femur was still a little soft, like al dente spaghetti, which is definitely how you want your bones to be described. Uh, the smallest stumble can obviously snap the weakened bone in half. And there's the pain, which is described as both relentless and ambient. The extension of the nails in this guy's legs stretched the nerves and tissue around the bones, especially the thick, meaty muscles like the hamstrings, to an almost excruciating degree. He couldn't walk for months. John says they fill you with enough painkillers that it's bearable, but he's worried about becoming addicted to the drugs. Finally, uh, asked why he would do this. He, John added three inches. He says, I noticed that taller people just seem to have it easier. The world seems to bend for them. But now you can't bend for anyone because your legs might snap. So have you really approved the condition of your life? Wow. Even people with money can be real idiots sometimes. Jesus. 100%. Also, tax the rich. Also, when you get naked, you're just going to look like a weirdo on stilts. <laughs> Honestly, it ain't that bad to be shorter. Honestly, I blame society for making like shorter men feel worse. Shorter people in general, but especially men. Your masculinity is tied into your, your height. That's a very common social trope or whatever. So we shouldn't do that to put pressure on people. But it's but it's weird, really weird. People are saying this is like Gattaca. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've watched this. But I don't know. They're going to be like wrist thickening things. I know a lot of weak men online are really worried about that. And the fact that that this caters to a particular type of guy who is wealthy, okay, insecure, and desperately wants to be something they're not, and is very common in like the tech bro culture. I would like to launch a new challenge, and I call it the Elon Musk Show Us Your Calves Challenge. Because if anybody is going to get this thing, I bet. <laughs> Has Elon Musk gotten a little bit taller recently, or is it just me? I say show the calves. I want to check for little incisions. Well, now you're on to something because I actually would kind of enjoy seeing Elon Musk go through that kind of painful, excruciating process, given the things that he's done in his life to make other people feel miserable. Yeah, go ahead. Get that surgery, Elon. Yeah. Let's see how you do. I just I want to see him go above and beyond because if if like a regular rich person can lengthen it by six inches for $150,000, with his billions, he could have legs that are 50 feet long. <laughs> Then you'd be the true alpha, Elon. 
Come on. Anyway, with that Siren said... Siren Head Elon is coming down the street. How crazy would that be? <laughs> Buy my cars! I want to see it. Step over a building. Oh.